Welcome to Showcase Saturday on Can Man Gaming. <laughs> so what the hell is this game? Bunny Must Die, Chelsea and the Seven Devils. Yeah, what do we have to say about this game? Yeah, I don't know, let's just get into it. Kaboom! 1999X, is that supposed to be like the year? 1999X? Cat weapons using thermonuclear power. Aww, that's cute. Have triggered the feline world war, enveloping the world in feline flames. Because that's a thing, right? The remaining populace were plunged into a cruel world where only the strong survived. <laughs> No, on the contrary, they actually achieved harmonious use of thermo mu clear energy and lived their days in peace. Eh. All's well that ends well, right? Three days later, the mighty thermo mu clear power plant exploded. At the time, Bunny just happened to be nearby. She was not badly injured, but the exploding cat cursed. Well, the exploding cat curse caused her to grow cat ears. Oh. Bunny was turned into a half-rabbit, half-cat, something or other. Oh, whoa, oh my, how terrible this all is. Bunny then followed the portly divine messenger who suddenly appeared to her. Yeah, because that's a thing. They soon arrived at the Devil's Labyrinth where she could break the curse. This world is crazy. However! Bang! As soon as they arrived, they were attacked by a raging bull. The portly divine messenger fought back with everything he had, but it proved futile. He was pierced 24 times by those incredibly sharp horns, dying on the spot. Owie. The portly divine messenger was totally beyond dead. The raging bull then up and left, but Bunny had no idea how to escape the place. Remainder abbreviated. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh, it's kind of pretty. Let's see, left, right, move, turn. You may not turn until you get a special item. What? So I have to go one direction the whole time? Down is crouch, attack, use weapon, jump is jump. Why is it even saying this? Spinning jump plus attack. Any direction upon taking a hit. Active impact. Okay. Rapid shots. Your standard ranged weapon possessing excellent rapid fire capability. So I can only go left. The controls are a little off, but... Like, oh, hey, you got the gears of the past. Allows you to walk backwards. Wow, really? Okay. How do you check this? Okay, I need to I need to change this real quick. Definitely something wrong here. Okay, this needs to be that. This needs to be that. Uh, this needs to be that. This can be that. This can be that. There we go. It's pretty... It's kind of... Oh, motherfucker, are you serious? Why it do that? Okay, whatever. Devil's dump. Let's get the gears. Okay, so I throw knives. That's a... God dang. Hell yeah. I can fucking throw those for days. What the hell? Oh, I thought that launched me up, but it's just a door thing. Oh shit, I don't like all this stuff that could fall. What's that do? Okay, whatever. Got an empty vessel, maximum life power increase. Wow, my life power increased before I even fucking... Okay, before I fought anything. So how the hell... Okay, what's this say? Ah, dang it. I don't know how to check this. Oh wow, I just took a screenshot. It's not letting me check it. Oh. Those spikes jutting up from the floor are, as you might expect, very painful if touched. If you have a lot of life, you might survive. Maybe being tough has its advantage. That's weird. I have to crouch to read those. Because why not? So, that gives me one second. I don't really... I'm not really comprehending. Am I supposed to, like, hit these spikes up here? Uh, I don't get it. I really don't. Am I supposed to fucking... Wow, okay. I I don't understand what it's trying to, like, hint at. 
It's, uh... It tells me I can survive spikes. And then I don't survive spikes. No, I don't... I don't get it. What's this one say? Gates open for a short period of time when the corresponding switch is pressed. Careful! Closing gates are dangerous. Take too long underneath it and you'll be rabbit mints. Oh, I see how there's blood right there. That's pretty... Pretty graphic. So it looks like all I can do is get this life, and then that's just the fucking end of it. So let's leave. Because we can go this way now. That's a little strange that every time I jump forward I have to do that crazy shit. You can use weapons to destroy certain sections of floor and walls. Look to the right here. See that coloring? It looks like it would just crumble right away. You are correct. What the hell is this? Crouch in front of this monument to save your progress. It restores you completely, but a hundred seconds of time will pass? Is there like a time limit to this game? Perhaps there is. Fuck you! Ooh, introducing enemies and shit. Pitfalls? What the hell is that? Like a pumpkin witch? With floating hands? Yeah. Psh, duh. Can I shoot through that? Nope. Bunny can expend time power to stop the flow of time. This creates a world in which only Bunny can move. Turn it on off by pressing time. Okay. That's this right here. Oh shit, that was stupid. Uh, fuck. Yeah, that's exactly what those things are. Just floating pumpkin head witch doctors. Not witch doctors, just witches. Shut up, I don't care. What's that? Is that like an extra life? You can ride elevators to reach greater heights. If you can't get the timing right, it might be easier if you stop time first. I get the timing right. Duh. But I couldn't get up there. I wonder how the fudge I get up there. Probably just can't. Unless I gotta do like some kind of fucking strategically tight bullshit jumping. Yeah, that's what it looks like. God, the controls aren't too great. I mean, they're not bad, it's just that they're kind of... I don't know, they're a little... A little loose. And a little tight all at the same time. I don't really know how that makes sense. See, like, I feel like I could probably make that jump, but, like, just trying to get on that block right there is fucking very difficult. So I'd say, yeah, fuck. What, that, what the hell is that supposed to be over there? Surely it's not, like, an extra life. Yeah, fuck this. So, can I go up with this elevator? You know what, fuck this, I don't care. False Samurai, an opt optical katana, the favored weapon of certain devils. What? That's pretty fucking cool. I got a fucking lightsaber. Holy shit. Okay, oh. So this is clearly a Metroidvania sort of game. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. Whoa, ho, ho, shit. Flying everywhere. Black wing, a thrown weapon that comes right back to you. So I guess I don't... I don't have like a plethora of weapons. I just, you hold one weapon at a time. Which, that's okay. I just, I didn't know that. It's kind of similar to a, like, sub-weapons in Castlevania, or maybe, like, the weapons you get in Ninja Gaiden, perhaps. Okay, so that's just the regular, that's the regular weapon. Eh. I was really digging the lightsaber. Caution, you're approaching a boss. Caution only those prepared for the trial ahead should continue. Good luck. Let's do it. Fuck it. Oh, God. I am the first devil, El Bo Bon Boy. Gaga Bon Bon Gaha. <laughs> okay, what the? Who's this girl? She has cat ears. I didn't even really notice her, like, ears sticking out the side. This is, this is weird. I'm not really in the mood for this, and I didn't ask for your life story. Ooh, sassy. Oh, whatever. But I will say this my boobs are huge. I think you need to make up your mind. Are you a cat or a rabbit? You just crossed the line, bitch! Miss Forehead. Fucking. Oh, shit! Fucking bullet hell. Whoa, dang. I'm not ready for this. This is. Why is the background gotta be so, like, epileptic inducing? Shit! Fucking rapid fire! Oh! Fuck you! Oh, boy. Oh, shit. I'm already fucking. I know I'm gonna die. This is crazy. I'm just gonna keep fucking fudge. Okay, I need to calm down. Whoa, shit. Fuck. Okay, I can't even throw my daggers through her flames. Shit. Through the fire and the flames, you know what I'm saying? Shit. 
I don't even know when's a good time to attack her. Is it when she lands? And then I can jump behind her, maybe? Ah, shit! Turn around, you fuck! See, it's like I was clearly turning around, and she just stayed that way. Like, if you're initiating attack, you're pretty much locked in. Holy shit. This is... <laughs> A little much for a first boss, I have to say. Whatever, I'll fucking do this. I can fucking do this. Yeah, cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. You cross the line, forehead. Blah -de blah blah. Oh shit, I just realized there's like a torch there. And I probably could have utilized that halfway through. Whoop. So I'm gonna dodge. And then I'm gonna jump over her, and I'm gonna fuck up. And then I'm gonna blah 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 blah. Yes. Oh shit. Man, fuck. She got a wide ass arc. Okay, drop down. Drop down. Fuck. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what the hell is that? My fucking, like, sword changes whenever I freeze time? What a bunch of bullshit. Wow, I went in fully expecting to, like, really enjoy this game, but so far I'm kind of meh. It's kind of okay. It reeks of sort of an amateurish indie title really but I mean I don't know maybe it's too early to judge shit it feels like it's uh, just like hard to be hard you know like one of those kind of things I've never been into that sort of deal like games that are just ridiculously hard just fucking because it's okay though not everything has to be my thing okay god damn it land yay yeah fuck this is horse shit. Alright, let's go fucking explore, I guess. Or I can't even fucking get back up there. I can I literally cannot get back up there. I have to fucking fight the boss. Great. Cool. I like how it gives you a warning that there's a boss, but you can't even fucking jump past. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Boop. Motherfuck. Land. Just fucking land. Wow, I went right into that one. Shit. God, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, the controls suck, dick. Uh, I'm doing definitely doing something wrong. And that's mainly just fucking sucking at the game. But you know, I've played a lot of games like this, like 2D games, and this just, I just not really into this. Fuck! Okay, okay, okay. Chill the fuck out. Chill out. Flames. Flame Central. Not so bad fucking dodging these. Come on, land. Just land. And land where I can jump over you. Fudge! Yes, yes, yes. What the hell? Oh, okay. Well, that fucked her up. Yeah, I think she's dead now. Oh, I say that and then I die. Oh, God. No! Fuck you! Son of a bitch! One hit away! One hit away, I suck dick at this game! Fuck! Okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it! Damn it. Now that I know I can, like, shoot her flames, I feel like it might not be so bad. But I can't go fucking crazy. Alright, land. Land. Fuck. I can't shoot her flames when she lands, though. Like, fuck! See, I can fucking wreck her there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. See, the thing is, like, whenever I jump forward, all I want to do is just a regular sword throw, but I'm pretty much forced to do the, like, spiral throw. See, then I can do this right here, and I'm pretty sure I got her. Yep. It's not really that bad, once you really get it down. That's the beauty of games like this, is, you know, practice makes perfect. But I still, I'm just really not feeling this game. You got running sandals. That's cool. Well... I mean, that's, that's kind of a uh, pretty basic thing for a game like this. Uh, can I get up top there? Maybe not yet. See, the jumps, the jumps are just not so tight. I wish they were a little tighter. See, that's like, is that the only way for me to even get back up there is to run to dash from this spot? Whee! Nope. Fuck. Man. Frustration setting in. Are you fucking with me? Metroid, you are not, my friend. 
Oh. Is it, can, am I not even able to fucking go back? Is that the way this is gonna be? God. <laughs> I can't. I can't even. There's literally no way I can make that jump. It's like it can't be that fucking close. There's no fucking way. Oh my god. Am I really doing this right now? Is this really what I'm doing on the fucking YouTubes? This is fucking obnoxious. Uh, run, 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 run. What the hell? <laughs> what is up with this background, though? For real. What the hell's going on there? Damn it. It looks like the fucking glyphs in Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. <laughs> it also looks like I'm on acid. Fuck! Are you serious? What am I gonna do? Fucking, I can't stop time. Is that gonna fucking help anything? No, I'm just gonna waste my fucking time. Mother fuck. I cannot get up there. I cannot get up there. What the hell, man? What in the hell? Can I climb that shit? Whoa, hang on a second. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. Yeah, seriously. Okay. I'm pretty pissed off at this game right now. If you're jumping forward, you just always do this little swirly swirl. If you jump stationary, you jump quite a bit higher. And then you can kind of lean over. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking maddening. Fuck you. This... See, it's like that. Like, right there, I would just be like, man, I cannot make this jump. Because that's how you jump in any other 2D platformer. Never would I think, oh, okay, I'm going to jump over here, and then jump straight up, and then I'll be okay. Never would I fucking ever think that. This is kind of counterintuitive. If there's, like, I don't know, I want to say that there could be, like, a separate jump for that spin jump, but that doesn't even make sense. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. I'll play this a little bit longer. Don't know how much longer. Just I guess until I get completely fucking frustrated. Like right now. Elevators. They're not. They remind me. See, look at that. I could not control the trajectory after a certain. Like once I got to a certain spot, I could not control my trajectory at all. I just fucking went. That headless muscle man is pissing me off. I want to go over to it. Uh, it's like. I can't even fucking line it up right. Is this, like, the joke they were going for? Like, am I supposed to, like... Nope, can't do it. I thought maybe I could do, like, the snapshot. It has a button just for a snapshot. But it won't even let me do it here. This would be, like, a perfect opportunity to be like, ha, ah, but can't. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, okay. I'll take my fucking time, I guess. What the hell are these purple bullshit nonsense fucks? This thing is pretty crazy. It just fucking flies all over the fucking place. What is this? There are certain traps that are affected by different circumstances, such as time being stopped. If you come across something odd, experiment and see if anything happens. So, if I stop time here, will it matter? I guess it will. Whoa, oh shit! Motherfucker. Only stop time for like half a second. Whatever. Let's fucking grind out these time orbs or whatever the fuck you call them. Man, like, I hate that whenever I'm like, like, I want to go forward. See, okay, if you've ever played Castlevania, you know that you rarely ever just, like, you rarely ever jump straight up or are, like, standing and attacking. This game is very like Castlevania. The problem I have is that I want to jump and attack. That's what you mo mostly do in Castlevania. The same goes for Metroid, really. You, you walk, you see an enemy, you jump attack. That's kind of your main thing is jumping and attacking. This is incredibly, incredibly counterintuitive. Because, like, that enemy's right there. Notice that if I'm jumping, 
all my attack is on the other side. Every bit of my attack is on the opposite side of me. So if I'm going, if I'm like going this way, I can attack the fuck out of everything behind me. But that's not what I want to do because I want to attack the shit in front of me because that's what you do in a fucking game like this. I just, I'm not understanding. It's, I'm, I'm not understanding. I just don't get why they decided to make it like this. It's so peculiar. I mean, overall, the presentation isn't so bad. The artwork's kind of, I mean, it's kind of cute. The, uh, I mean, the enemies and stuff, are, they look cool. But man, they just, they really fucking fuck something up with the controls. I just don't get why, how they could say, hey, you know, we love Castlevania and Metroid. I mean, that's what this game is. This game is a Metroidvania, as the fans so call it. But they didn't like, they didn't take any cues from how to make a Metroidvania. See, like, this, just this jump right here shouldn't be like that. I don't know. I'm, uh, see, that would have not happened in a Metroidvania game. I wouldn't have had that problem because it wouldn't have been all jerky like that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty upset that this game kind of sucky. Because when I first saw the, like, screenshots, see, fuck. When I first saw the screenshots and stuff, I was like, holy shit, this game is going to be fucking cool. Not so much the case. Is this another boss? Let's see how stupidly hard this boss is. Oh, got a fucking text message. Pooya! Shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, man, I jumped right into the fucking flames. God, holy shit. Now, I, I think maybe what they really wanted to do with this game was make it like part Metroidvania, part fucking bullet hell. Because that's what it feels like. This is a bullet hell right here. I mean, I, this is fucking bonkers. Pretty sure this boss is a little easier than the last one. At least with this weapon. Because I'm not even doing anything. I'm just standing still and eventually my boomerangs went out against his fire. Victory! That's cool. Oh shit. Let's see what kind of upgrade I get here. Oh god. Oh, what? I just hit the side of it. Shit. Whoop! What's this? You got the blazing orb. Allows you to get rid of red statues. Not really what I was hoping for. I mean, that makes sense that that's something you're going to eventually get. Just hoping for something cooler. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this because... While this game, I don't believe, is fucking just overall terrible, it definitely leaves a lot to be desired. Mainly, that's my main problem. Every part of this game is okay, except for this jump. It's so counterintuitive. When I want to jump forward and attack, I mean, there's boomerangs flying all over the place, so I mean, maybe that's what they were going for, so it's like a little more balanced. But it's, it's not going to attack the thing in front of me. I have to do a neutral jump, which doesn't make sense. When you're running and attacking, you want to just have the flow of running, jumping, attacking. Just like a Castlevania or Metroidvania. But, I mean, they tried. Perhaps these developers could make something similar. A sequel that's a little better in the future. Maybe they already have. I don't fucking know. I didn't look too terribly far into it. But, if you were interested in this game or games like this, maybe this gives you a better idea of what to expect. Either way, this has been Showcase Saturday on Can Man Gaming. Leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed what you've seen, hopefully you did. If you didn't enjoy what you've seen, leave a comment. Tell me what you would like for me to change, what can make it better. I want the experience to be overall nice for the fans. That's what's important to me. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful night.